Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's up, box heads? Can y'all hear me? What's up, the official T? Give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Y'all can hear me? <laughs> My weekly fix. What's up? <laughs> That's what's up, T. Y'all can hear me? Okay, cool, cool. Someone said, hey, boss, I got a cargo van and a box truck in ATL, but I don't know where to start. Hit me up, man. I got some services that can help you get up and running, um, especially when it comes to the box truck. And I can refer you to somebody that's, you know what I'm saying, that's killing the game with the cargo van. So, yeah, this um, book a consultation with me, man, or grab my um, ultimate bundle pack. It depends on what you do. I have a bunch of services, man. So you just let me know. But I can definitely help you out and get some money, um, making some money with that um, box truck and with the sim. I mean, the cargo van. What's up, Matthew? How you doing, bro? Shout out from New Jersey. What's up? Nice meeting you too, man, at the meet and greet. That's what's up. Someone says, yes. Hi, yeah. Well, y'all know how my meet and greets, not my meet and greets. Look at I'm still in the meet and greet mode. Y'all know how my um, lives go. I don't have a spill or anything. I just jump on here once a week to answer questions for you guys. Um, that was interested in getting into the logistics game, but I might be, you know, a little afraid, scared, or for whatever reason, um, you don't even want to book a consultation. I get on here to answer questions, uh, for you guys during my lives to give back. I should say, giving up some free game for you guys. What's up trucking with Tiff? What's up trucking with Rhonda? How you doing? Let me see. Someone said... So drop your questions. Let me see. Someone said, I got something new from each of these lives. Thank you, Jabbar, for taking the time to school us. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's what I do. Like I said, I come on here to try to give back to you guys. Well, of course, y'all know. Well, since I'm waiting on people to drop some questions, I have my meet and greet in Atlanta this week in September 16th. Um, had a really good turnout, sold out um, event. It was real dope, man. I had some real dope speakers that came through to uh, bless the stage, I would say, uh, bless the room. I had, um, uh, of course, I had, um, let me go by the names. I don't want to forget nobody. Um, I had, uh, let's start off where I had Trucker with D speak. Um, I had Miss Lola, first female of freight, speaking. I had Maddie Daddy, uh, Mike speak. I had, um, who else I had come through? I had um, Alvin George come through, my funding guy. Um, I had Trucker with Rhonda uh, speak. And then I had uh, Trucking with Tiff come through and speak. I hope I'm not forgetting nobody. I know Rhonda and uh, Tiff, y'all tell me, did I forget anybody? I don't think I forgot anybody. But um, anyway, to make a long story short, had a bunch of people in there. A couple people already made millions of dollars in the logistics industry that came through to bless the stage. So you don't have to make money just solely with box trucks. Of course, box truck is an easy entry. There's truck uh, trailer leasing. There's dispatching. There's hot shots. There's semis. There's so many ways you can make you know, saying money, cargo vans, um, that you can make money actually in logistics. But it was a sold out event. Um, real dope event, man. I got to meet a lot of my box heads that travel from all over to come to it. Um, like Matthew, like it was a real dope event. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about where I'm going to do my next meet and greet at. I haven't quite decided where I'm going to do it at yet, but it'll definitely be coming. I ain't going to say super soon, but it's going to be coming. Someone said, bro, I'm jumping into the dispatching. Yeah, dispatching is the easiest way to get into logistics, man. To start a dispatching um, company, and we kind of discussed this at the meet and greet too. The dispatching, all you basically need is a cell phone, some kind of cell phone service, tablet, computer, whatever. You need to have a load board access, and you basically just need the information. Once you have those things, you can literally start dispatching for literally under five. I tell people under 500 bucks. You got a cell phone, and most people already have a cell phone. You just need access to a low board. You could do the DAT low board. Um, I think it's like 45 bucks a month to get a subscription. And just the information, I, I have a dispatching guide. If you're interested, it's 49 bucks. Um, it's a dispatching guide that covers Amazon Relay and it covers the DAT low board. So dispatching is a cheap way to get into logistics. You stack up your money, get you a couple carriers. Let's just say you got 
a carry that's doing forty five hundred dollars a month. I mean, a week. That's four hundred and fifty dollars a week from the uh, comfort of your own home that you can make dispatching. If you get three, four of them. You're making more than the average person that's getting up to going to work. Dispatchers don't work a lot of hours. Usually get up probably early in the morning around 7 o'clock. Usually be done by 11, 12 o'clock that day dispatcher load. So dispatching is real um, easy to get into. You don't need no authority. There's no background check. Um, you don't have to have no special insurance or anything to be a dispatcher. It's the easiest way. If you're interested, like I said, in getting started in dispatching, I also have a dispatching guide that's 49 bucks. Or you can get my ultimate bundle pack guide, which has it in there as well. Someone said, I'm a I'm new owner operator, IP and running, rented a box truck, and they were killing me with the fees. I don't know where to start because you got to set up the right account. Book a consultation with me on um, Pretty Collins. I'll show you how to set up your account um, the correct way and get you some good rates um, when it comes to box truck. Because if you get the truck at the, like I said, anything over $600, if you're getting it over $600, it's going to kill you. It's too high. If you're looking to get a rental, a box truck rental, the price point that you want to stay is between $450 and $600. Of course, the cheaper you know you can get it down for, the better you'll make in the long run. But anything over $600 is starting to become too expensive. So you definitely want to keep it under that amount. Someone said, hey, great to see, see you. We had our phone consultation today, Gems. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. That's what's up, Optim Optimove for Logistics. That's what's up. Yeah, I had a... I had a whole bunch of um, consultations today, but yeah, thank you, thank you. Someone said, I said, the meet and greet was fire. Yeah, man, the meet and greet was dope, man. I, I had a real good time meeting people. Even, you know, me being in logistics two and a half years, doing solely Amazon, I do a little bit of, you know, that little boy, but I was able to even learn stuff. I came out, I left out of that meet and greet motivated, man. So if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So that's why I had all other people that made millions in the trucking industry in the same exact room. The meet and greet was definitely a success. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I was a student. I like when I can become a student and I can sit there and learn something from, you know, the guest speakers that was there. And I definitely learned something. I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, man, I need to be venturing into other parts of logistics. Now I already mastered Amazon. Amazon is, I could do that in my sleep. So now it's time for me to, you know, expand and do a lot more other things. Someone said, what's your goals in the trucking industry for 2024? And where do you think the market will be at? Okay, that's a two-party question. Well, I think the market is still going to be good, especially when you're talking about Amazon Relay. Amazon Relay is kind of like, it ain't going nowhere. It's, they, they're building more um, distribution and fulfillment centers. So Amazon is the biggest retailer um, out there. So Amazon ain't going nowhere. Well, what's my trucking goals? Good question. I was just kind of uh, touching on that. After leaving that meeting, Greek, I, I, I got some other stuff that I'm about to look into and kind of expand into different industry. Well, not industry, but different avenues of making money with uh, logistics. I'm thinking about doing something with uh, cargo vans as well. So just trying to expand and get a little bit more. I don't really want to mess with the semis right now. I don't want to do, and not, there's nothing wrong with the semis. It's just the fact that I don't want to deal with the CDLs and having a CDL driver. I like non-CDL um, you know, stuff, uh, drivers and, and stuff like that, because it's kind of easier to find, you know what I'm saying, a good driver or a driver. I don't have to go through the CDL. Someone said Amazon rates are so low right now. Yeah, because we like an off-peak season. You got to remember, um, it's not super low if you know how to book loads. You still can get good loads with Amazon if you know how to book loads and you're using your poster truck. However, like I was explaining on my last live, Amazon is just like the mall. When Amazon has, um, let's just say, when the mall, you walk into a mall and they got holiday stuff out where you want, want you to spend some money, that's the same thing with Amazon. And think of Amazon as a giant mall. So you got to think, Labor Day is a holiday, but Labor Day, nobody's spending money for Labor Day except vacation and traveling, going to the beach before the beach is closed down. It's not a holiday where you spend money to go give somebody something. So then you got the whole month of September, um, nothing really is happening. Then you have October. October, we're going to have Prime Day again. Prime Day, if you remember, if you look at my, my page, Prime Day is two days where Amazon lets you get like free shipping and whatever. Last July, well, just July, I should say, Amazon did $12.7 billion in revenue in those two days. Because it was so much freight, the, the rush lasted. It was like a peak season for like three weeks to four weeks in certain places. We're going to have that same thing in October. 
the middle of October. Then it's going to cool off again. So like the first two weeks of November, we're going to cool off because guess what? Nobody's spending money again. Everybody's going to hold their money, stack their money till it's tax time. Not tax time, till it's Black Friday, coming close to Black Friday. Then, then that's when everybody starts shopping. So we're going to see peak from the middle of November all the way to the first week of January. When January starts, guess what? It's going to be another valley where it's going to get slow again because after Christmas, nobody's spending money. Ain't nobody going to buy an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, or nothing after Christmas. People already spent all their money during Christmas. So then now we got to turn around and wait for January, February, Valentine's Day. You see a little bit of rush. But then when taxes hit, the end of uh, the government usually push it back every year. But end of February or March, then we get a boom from March and April until like the beginning of May. And then, it's, like I said, it's a complete cycle. Then May, you kind of slow down a little bit. Graduations, people traveling. Then in June, Amazon has, well, July, this year they had a prime day. So it's peaks and valleys where the loads are very, very good. And then there's times when the loads are just consistently all right, I should say. But it's still way better than the dat low boy. And I know y'all see people out there that, you know, promotes the dat low boy. I'm not uh, saying anything wrong with the dat low boy. The thing is with the dat low boy, if you want to be home every day, you want to have a driver home or you're driving a truck, you can't beat Amazon hands down. I don't care how much money I make. I don't want to sleep in a truck. I don't want to be sleeping over the road. I don't want to make all the money in the world if I'm not home to spend it. The being able, like a lot of people are chasing money. I'm not chasing money. I'm chasing freedom. I'm chasing time. I'm chasing being able to take my son to soccer games. Be able to do what I want to do. I'm not, I don't want to make a lot of money, but I'm sleeping in a truck on the floor or on the side. I don't want to tell y'all that kind of story. So with that being said, Amazon is still King Kong when it comes to box trucks. And if you don't know how to dat low boy, yeah, it's always home runs with the dat low boy. Like when you see some people, they post like loads or whatever with the dat low boy. Those are like very few loads. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to get that. You made $10,000 with a box truck, $8,000 with a box truck. Realistically, you're just not. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a home run every day. With me, my system, you don't have to have a home run. You just need base hits. You just need to be able to make some money. Just like I always tell people, if you have five trucks, let's just say for shits and giggles, you got five trucks on the road. And let's just say after you paid all your expenses, you walked away with $100 a day per truck. $100 a day. Per truck. That's not a lot of money. A lot of people are like, oh, I blow $100 at lunch. Okay, $100 a day times five trucks, that's $500. $500, $500 a day, and let's just multiply time. Your truck is running 30 days. That's literally $15,000 net profit that you can make from solely doing Amazon Relay, just making $100 a day. So that's crazy. I don't know too many places on earth where you can make $15,000 a, a month. That's legal. And you're home. I'm home every day. You know what I'm saying? So I make more than $100 a day. But what I'm just trying to tell you is that you can at least make $100 a day with a truck, with Amazon Relay. So stop chasing the money. I'm chasing freedom. I'm chasing uh, just, you know, financial freedom, which means I'm not physically working for the truck. So let's just say if I only made $15,000, I'd rather make $15,000 a month and I sit home and have all the free time in the world. Them versus making 30000 but I'm working 80 hours a week to do it. That's just me. That's my mindset. Somebody said, let me go back to y'all questions. Someone said, oh, we had a time Saturday. Yes, we did. We had a good time Saturday. Someone said, I got into master class. When should I start my LLC? You can start your LLC, actually. Now, you can actually, if you in any of my master classes, um, I have a master class coming up this Saturday, September 23rd. That's already sold out. Um, if you're already in that class, you can actually start your LLC and you can actually start your authority process. If you hit me up, I can put you in contact with my third party authority um, person that can get your authority done. But those are the two things that you can actually start right now. And in my class, October 7th, I know you guys see me broadcast today. I have 10 slots left for my October 7th class. 10 slots. That's it. After the October 7th class, that's it. I'm not having any more class because if I do, you won't be able to catch peak season. Let's say you don't have anything started. And you wanted to get into the October 7th class. October 7th, if you started, let's say that following Monday, within 30 days, you should have your authority. It should be active. You should have your insurance. You literally can catch peak season. So October 7th is the last class. If you don't know, the class is $9.99 if you never purchased any of my bundle pack guides. If you already purchased my bundle pack guides, then it's uh, $7.50. Send me a DM to my um, Instagram. 
saying that you already purchased it, your confirmation number, and then I will send you a link that you can pay the $750. However, if you haven't, then you can just go to boxtruckshorty.com or click on the link in my bio and actually get the class. It's $499 down, and then you can pay the other $499 in two weeks, or you can just pay the whole $99. I mean $999. The class comes with my ultimate bundle pack guide, which is all three of my guys together. Step one, the starter pack guide, which shows you how to set up your company and you know have everything the correct way. Step two, showing you how to book loads, how to find drivers, how to scale, my ED, ELD, um, fuel factoring, everything. All my contacts is in the guide as well. Um, and then my third, the dispatching guide, which shows you how to dispatch with the DAT load board and Amazon Relay, comes in the guide. And then what we cover in the guide is basically we cover everything that you need to know for Amazon Relay. I cover everything. It's a five and a half hour class. So from 12 to 2, I normally talk. We go over the load board. I pull up the Amazon load board. I show you how to book loads. I show you what's a good load. I show you how to find drivers, how to hire drivers, what's a good driver. Like We cover everything, and it's an interactive class where you can ask questions in this class as well as we go. Um, then I have my compliance officer come on, and she talks about compliance, tell you the do's and don'ts of what you need to do. Because um, like I said, nobody really talks about compliance. Um, then we tell you what you need to lease on, because in the master class, we allow you to lease on to one of my business partners. For the 180 days, if you don't want to wait 180 days, you can lease on. Drive under their authority for the 180 days while your authority's agent in the background, and you should be able to make a smooth transition. We cover the dat low board, my business partner, we cover the dat low board, we go over all of that, and then we also have a CPA on there to tell you how to set up your company so you can pay yourself, payroll, taxes, all of that good thing. So when you leave out of that class, you should be uh, a master in Amazon Relay and uh, Book of Loads. Someone said, what about hotshots? Can you get loads for that? If you're a dispatcher, you can, but not with Amazon. Amazon really doesn't do hotshots. They only do 16-foot trucks, which is cube trucks. They do 26-foot box trucks, which means some people, I know a lot of say something, I know a lot of people who use a 24-foot box truck. So if you got a 24-foot box truck with a lift gate, uh, you can do Amazon relay. Um, and then the semis. So those are the people that I know that can do Amazon relay. Someone said, bro, I'm jumping into any dispatcher, any connects or any vice. Yes, for dispatcher, once you get the information, you get the everything set up, join my box truck shorty box heads group. I got 9,900 people in there. You got carriers in there looking for drivers, drivers looking for carriers. Um, most people struggle with finding carriers, but definitely join the, uh, that class and it, it'll definitely help you um, get you know get up and run or get you some carriers. What's up, cuz? I see my cousin there. What's up, cuz? How you doing? Someone said, how do you get a contracts with Amazon? Relay? Once you get accepted to Amazon Relay, they post contracts like every, I think once a month, you go in there and just book the contracts. Let's see what else. Go ahead and drop some questions. Someone said, nothing but knowledge at that meet and greet. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, the meet and greet was dope. I mean, it was real dope. Uh, and thank you, Boxes, for that came out, the support. It was real dope, man. A lot of love, a lot of energy, um, a lot of information. It was real, real dope. And, you know, sometimes a lot of people, um, like I said, I, I, I pride myself on giving back a lot of free information. Yeah, I make a lot of money doing Amazon Relay. But at the end of the day, I still give back a lot of free information. I give back free reels, free YouTubes. I do lives with you guys once a week to try to answer you guys' questions. So um, I'm a real humble person. If you met me at the meet and greet, I'm real, you know, humble. We spoke, chopped it up, talked. So I love helping people that like to help themselves. If you ain't trying to help yourself, we, we ain't got a lot in common. But all my boxes that came and showed love, I really appreciate you guys. Someone said, what's up, boss? Just got approved for Amazon. When does peak season start? Peak season start the second week in uh, November, bro. Congratulations on just getting approved, man. That's, that's big. I know you can't wait. You can't wait. You can't wait. Yep. So someone said I'll be in and I'll be in your February 24th masterclass for sure. That's what's up. Someone said, "Where can I re rent lease a semi?" Good question. So when you're trying to rent a semi, most of the uh, rental companies, you're gonna have to be in business for two years. Not saying all of them, but the major ones that when I first started, like Penske Rider, you had to be in business for two years um, to lease a semi. Someone said, you got Mrs. C. Orange, you truck it lady at your next meet and greet to renew logistics. That's what's up. Come on through. Come on through. 
Someone said, man, yeah, man, we came from New York. We got a lot of good information, info and good vibes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, coming from New York. I'm actually going to be in New York in October. I'm going up there to do a podcast at the end of October. But thank you for coming through, man. Thank you. Someone said, any truck plugs in Texas? No, I don't have no truck plugs in Texas. Nope. I'm looking to get into dispatching as well. Yeah, dispatching is real good to get into. Someone said, what can you make potentially make weekly doing dispatch? It's up to you. It depends on how many carriers you have. So the answer to that question is, if you're charging 10%, and let's just say, like I had a friend that was doing dispatching somebody loads at Amazon, and she was charging them 10%. So let's just say the average truck does $4,000 to $5,000 a week as a box truck, if they're doing like one load. So let's just say easy math for five, let's say $5,000. $5,000 a week, you're going to make 10% of that, that's five hundred. dollars If you got two trucks a week, that you dispatching and they're at least making five thousand a piece. That's easy math. That's easy math. That's a thousand dollars a week, and it literally, like I said, you can start dispatching. Usually, a dispatcher work like mm, two or three hours a day, depending on how many um, trucks they have. You just gonna have to be making a lot of calls, and you can also, if you find somebody, they might want you to let, allow you to dispatch for Amazon. Like I said, even though Amazon is so simple, I knew somebody that had a dispatcher for Amazon, and she was making ten percent, um, you know, dispatching. Someone said, awesome, awesome event. Thanks, thanks, Insurance for Bosses. Thank you. Yeah. Someone said, do you recommend any specific brand or box truck when buying? Yes. Um, Freightliners are really good trucks. It's easy to work on from what I've been told from the, just the maintenance people at the places. Freightliners is a bulletproof truck. And then so is Hino's. Hino's, of course, you know, is made by Toyota. Um, they're really good trucks from what the maintenance man told me that they're good, but not a lot of people work on them. So you got to, you know, pick whatever. And then internationals now, they have the Cummins, um, and Allison, Cummins motor, Allison transmission is pretty good as well too, but stay away from the ones that had the max force. Google it. They got like a lawsuit against them. The max force motors. A Dora Star, yeah. Any companies you know rent for those four hundred? So yeah, I have companies that rent for four to six hundred dollars. Book a consultation with me, and I can get you in contact or show you how to set up your account. For you guys that don't know, I do do thirty and sixty minute consultations. Also, so if you want a private conversation with me, you ain't gonna speak to a VA uh, for thirty minutes. It's ninety nine bucks for hours, one hundred and forty nine hours. I do it between twelve and five, Monday through Friday. You can book a consultation with me as well. And also, if you don't want to book a consultation, you can grab my Ultimate Bundle Pack Guide, which is on sale for $199. It has a ton of information in it. So I advise you, if you're trying to get started in trucking, you don't know where to start, grab my Ultimate Bundle Pack Guide. Go through the guide. Um, if you can't afford the master class and learn everything you can, then book a consultation with me and I can tie it all together for you. It's real simple. It's not hard to uh, get into logistics. I did it. Been doing it two and a half years. If you don't know, if you're just on my live, I made over $2 million doing it in two and a half years, running multiple trucks with Amazon Relay. If I can do it, you can do it. I did it while working a nine to five. Um, I've helped plenty of people do it working a nine to five. If you always hear me talk about my cousin on here, he's still working a nine to five, I believe. I talked I talk to your moms today too, because uh, um, I believe he's in, in, he's in New York right now, but guess what? His rental trucks, um, he started off with a rental, working at his company for 21 years, and he's up and running. He made he over 200000 in like seven months. So and he's still working a nine to five. He's in New York right now working. You know what I'm saying? So if he can do it, he has a, a career. You know what I'm saying? So if he can do it, you guys can do it. There's no excuse for you not be able to do it. It just depends on your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, do you have to do a certain... A certain, I guess you might say, amount of loads to get access to early load. Yes, you got to do uh, at least four loads in order to get early access. If we pay five hundred dollars now for the mass class, when is the other five hundred due? In two weeks. So if you pay five hundred today, and another two weeks, the other five hundred is due. If you need a little bit more time, just let me know. As long as it's paid before the class, October seventh, the last master class. Like I said, I got ten slots. I guarantee you, it's gonna be sold out. What's the day? Tuesday. I'll be, it'll be sold out by the end of the week. And the only reason why I'm having this class is because when the last class sold out, literally, I got 50 to 100 DMs asking about the class and you was going to get paid. You you was waiting. X, Y, and Z school started. You know, la di da da However, this is the last master class. You can put this one in stone. I'm not having no more master classes this year here. So you definitely want to get in and get this la get, get your slot. 
because you don't want to miss peak season. This is the last class. Like I said, you'll be able to catch peak season. You'll be able to make a ton of money during peak season. What's a good year to look for when getting a box truck? Purchasing a truck, I would stay with the newest truck I can get. I ain't even gonna lie. 2019 probably would be the, the 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 oldest year I will go at. Someone said box truck shorty the road to dispatch an ebook is available for only sale for forty nine nine nine. Click the link in the bio or go to boxtruckshorty.com. Right. Two weeks after the first payment. He's answering some of my talk that is. Someone said, I requested an uh, insurance in car after purchasing your ebook, still waiting on a response. The reason being is my uh, broker swapped over. With my, the broker that I was working with, the main guy, he's no longer working with the company. So, j Rack, send me a text message and I'll connect you to that actual person. Just shoot me a DM tonight. And when I get off the live, I'll give you his direct phone number. You can call him. Someone said, if I work at an Amazon warehouse, can I still do this? Or oh, that's double dipping. I plan to resign warehouse when my business is up running. Yes, you can work in Amazon. Because you got to remember, when you're setting your company up, your company, like my name is Jabbar. When I'm setting up the company, my name could be ABC uh, Logistics. Their, Amazon don't know who owned that company for real. So, yes, you can still work at Amazon and um, start your own company. Someone said, I got your initial package. Do you have any advice on buying a truck? Uh, buy, uh, buying a truck, not renting. Um, no advice on it. Just like I said, make sure that truck has a warranty on it. I don't know if the guy or the person that I was just doing the um, uh, a consultation with today, but you can ask him if he's on here. Same thing. He said, man, he bought a truck and he said them trucks is kicking his ass. He said he got a $12,000 bill out in Wyoming. And he said from now on, he renting trucks. So I'm not discouraging you from buying a truck, but if you spend it, um, if you don't have money, like I tell people, ten to fifteen thousand dollars down. I mean, not down, in a reserve on a credit card line of credit for repairs. Do not buy a truck because if you buy a truck, that first breakdown can literally put you out of the game, and you don't want that. So to be on the safe side, I always tell people rent, stack your money, then you can go buy a fairly good new truck with a good warranty. Someone said I'm locked in October seventh. Let's go peak season. That's what's up. That's what's up. I can't wait. Look, you get all right. Let's see. Someone said I already paid half. I'm paying my next half Friday. Can't wait. Okay, okay. Someone said, "How tall does your box truck have to be work for Amazon?" There's no height restriction with Amazon. As long as you got a 26 foot box truck with a lift gate, you can work with Amazon. Someone said, "Do you think it's better to buy a truck or lease one?" If you can lease a truck, I will lease it. But a lot of the new um. Uh, big uh, rental companies, when I first started, they didn't allow uh, people to lease on until after they've been in business for two years. So if you can find somebody, uh, the Brad Williams, definitely lease it on. Lease it on will always have you better terms than renting. And also just make sure in that lease that they will cover the maintenance on that truck too, because some of the leases, you're still responsible for covering the maintenance. So if they're going to cover the maintenance, then yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it. Someone said, is it an extra fee to lease on after the master class is included in the fee? It's 10%. So my business partners and my other um, people that I do business with, they charge 10% to run under their authority for the first 180 days. No other hidden fees or nothing like that. Someone said, I'm having an issue finding a truck. The easiest way to find a truck is to call around to majority of the places that you're at, get on the waiting list, and call every week and check where you're at on that waiting list. Uh, they got 10 riders in your area, call a 10 of the riders and get on it. Don't call and expect like the person, let's say you call, talk to Mark. Mark is not going to go find your truck. Mark got 20 people on that list. He's just not going to do it, to be honest with you. So you're going to have to really hit the ground and do a lot of, uh, as you say, groundwork of calling around to all of the um, different uh, rental companies. So I'm already, I'm already for the master class, October 7th. Me too. I can't wait. Can't wait till the one on the Saturday and then another one on the 20, I went on the 7th. See, so do your drivers go home daily or they stay out? Uh, my drivers are home daily. I've never had a driver that spent the night out of the house. So my drivers are all home daily. The good things about Amazon Relay, um, i tell you, Amazon Relay, there's no background check. So you could be a felon, probation, parole. You could be doing whatever and you can still work for Amazon Relay. The driving record will increase your insurance if you have like a ticket or, you know, a record or anything like that. However, 
um, you still can do Amazon really. It just be, you know, there's ways around. You can insure the truck, get somebody else, add them to your policy that'll make your policy go down. Um, there's no factoring company. You don't have to have a factoring company and pay 10% or two, I mean, uh, not 10%, two to 4% with a factoring company. You don't need a dispatcher. So you don't have to pay that 10% with Amazon relay because you'll be dispatching your own trucks. It's super simple. Um, and you get paid every Friday. So you can't beat that. It's super simple. You can run the whole company while you're working a nine to five, or even if you're not working a nine to five, you can still run the whole company from your cell phone, no matter where you was at. Just like I was telling you, my cousin was in Vietnam a couple of weeks ago, and he still was running his company from Vietnam. So all you need is Wi-Fi. If you had a place where you got no cell service, Wi-Fi. When you, I went to Cancun for five days, guess what? My company still was moving because all I needed was my cell phone. So... That's the beauty in it about owning your own company versus self-employed. You own your own company, you go on vacation, you do whatever you want to do. It just depends on your mindset. And even if you start off driving your truck, your game plan should be within a year to get out of that truck, put somebody in that truck, scale it, and keep making money. The, the, nobody get rich off one. You can't get rich off selling one iPhone. You can't get rich off selling one car, one Benz, one Rolex. The name of the game is scaling. Scaling and duplicating it. You don't have to knock a home run when you have a scalable company. So that's the that's how you can make a lot of money with logistics. Same thing with one truck. One truck, tractor trailer, one any truck is just not going to get you rich. I'm just being honest. I don't know how much money you want to make, but one ain't going to get you rich. One will is a start. You got to start somewhere. So if you start with one truck and let's just say that truck is doing, let's just say you're making $150 a day. You know what I'm saying? $100 a day. Let's just stay one truck and you're only making $100 a day, and you're not physically doing nothing, but booking a load takes you 30 minutes all day, 30 minutes a day, $100. That's $3,000 a month. $3,000 a month, that's what? Three times 12 is 36000 36000 and let's just say you have a job. Let's say your job is making, you're making $70,000 at your job. That $30,000 will put you at six figures. That's making 100000 You get two trucks, that's 70000 Three trucks, 100000 net. So the money is in scaling. That's how you make money with trucking. That's how all of the big boys make money. And that's how I make money. And that's how you can make money by scaling. So let's just see. What's the best way? Oh, I'm trying to get it. Where is the best place to lease a truck? Leasing a truck, like I said, you're going to have to be in business for two years for all the places I know. I know there's a couple places that are probably local that you probably can, you know, get you a lease on truck, but I don't know of any that's under two years. Someone said, trying to get in a bro, I got your package. I've submitted an insurance card. needs help. That's the only hold up. Yeah, send me that message, bro. So send me a message. I'll get you in contact with that, um, my broker. How many trucks can you add if you're leasing onto the authority? As many as you can control. So if you feel like you need one truck, two trucks, three trucks, it's up to you. Um, as long as you can control, book those loads, and manage those drivers, there's no like cap on how many people you can lease. Someone said, how's the New York City market? The New York City market, um, last I checked, is good. Like I said, I made a video last week about it. Every market is good if you know how to book loads. I ain't going to say good. There's some loads that's placed that's great. So when you look at the load board, you see me post a load, some areas are just great. But good, Amazon wouldn't be there if it wasn't good, like I was explaining if an Amazon is there, somebody's making money there. Somebody's eating there. Amazon is not going to put a fulfillment center or a distribution center and have nobody to move their freight. So if somebody says, if it's an Amazon there and they say, man, look, it's a dollar a mile. If it's a dollar a mile and it's trash, nobody's going to move their load. So Amazon knows how to make their loads uh, get moved. And the reason why they do it is if you look at the market, a lot of people make this mistake. They look at the market and then they look at... Uh, uh, I mean, at the low board and says there's no good loads on the board. The reason being is, is because everybody's using poster truck in that area. So you can't judge the area by looking at the low board and saying there's no good loads there. So with that being said, it's pretty much good loads, you know, all over. All right. All right. Someone said... Someone said, what's good, shorty? Ain't been on your show in a while. Glad I caught it. <laughs> that, thank you. Thank you. Someone said, how do you feel about Ohio? We have a lot of Amazon coaches. All of the areas is good. So to answer that question, for anybody that's going to ask it, all the areas are pretty good. Some areas are just great. But it's going to waste. Whatever it is, it's still going to be better than what's on the dat low board. 
Someone said, I want to start my own trucking business. I'm just worried about not having my authority built up to get loads. Well, if you're trying to do the DAT load board, uh, you're right. Your authority has to be around 90 days to get good loads unless you lease on to somebody, uh, the Brad Williams. But what you can do is find you somebody to lease on to or join my master class. Join my master class. That'll give you the 180 days that you need. Um, by that time, even when you hit 90 days, then you'll be able to hit the DAT load board and still be able to do Amazon Relay. So, like I said, for a thousand dollars to lease on, um, to get the information, to get all of this compliance information, go read my reviews. You don't even have to listen to me. Go read my reviews. Like I tell people, forget what I say. Go read my. I have hundreds of reviews. Go read them. Um, the masterclass is definitely good information. You ain't gonna find this information nowhere else. Nobody else, I think, is gonna give you this information. And six months to business, you want to go to Amazon, can you help, please? I'm six months into the business. Want to do Amazon? Yes, book a consultation, um, Danny. Um, I can help you personally. Sign up for the Box Truck Shorty Masterclass. Click the link in his bio or Box Truck Shorty. Yeah, so if you already bought my guide, so I meant to say, um, if you're not, if you, I post this on I, uh, YouTube too. You can always send me a, um, a message at Box Truck Shorty, all one word, at Gmail. Telling us that you purchased one of my bundle pack guys. We're going to ask you for the confirmation number or your name that you purchased it under. Then we'll send you a link for the 750 Even if the 750 if you need it broken up into two payments, we can break it up to 375 and in another two weeks, 375 So, someone said, can't wait till Saturday. Me either. Me either. I love when my master class come out, man. It'd be, it'd be a lot of good energy. Just like the meet and greet. Meet and greet had good energy, good information. I pride myself on getting you guys good information so you guys can be successful. So where are the box trucks? I don't understand that question. I'm going to say, in New York, see, working all my loads are booked for the night. That's what's up. See, tell you, my cousin, he in New York. I talked to your mom today too, bro. But um, yeah, he in New York right now working. So his truck's ain't in New York. His truck is not even where he live at. So his truck is completely three or four hours away from where he live at. Never drove a box truck also. Made 200 and, I think he had 220 something thousand now. But killing the game, man. Killing the game. Proud of him. Very proud of him. Someone said, we did that back before COVID. California OC, they weren't paying good. And we have three trucks. Any advice to start up? But I'm in Las Vegas. Yes, you got to learn how to book loads. Yeah, if you learn how to book loads and learn how to use your poster truck, I guarantee you Amazon will change your life. You will be like, man, you ain't going to mess with the dad load boy no more at all. Someone said, cap, cap, gate it, work out, say, cap, 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 don't do it. He robbing people. Ha, ha. It's always one. You know, every couple months, we always get a, a little capper. But guess what? You're not even going to get no attention tonight. My homie, Ultimate Can of Meds, is in New York getting getting to it with the airport loads. I believe that. I believe that. He probably, does he have a dedicated um, lane? Let me see. You said buying one or leasing or renting. Where's the best? Well, to be honest, if you can lease a truck, you're going to get a better rate. Just make sure when you lease that truck that they do cover maintenance. Because if they don't cover maintenance, you're going to be back. It's like buying a truck is just that you're leasing it. So if you got to pay for the repairs and all of that, then it's going to kick your butt in the long run. So a lease that they cover maintenance is good. Someone said, do I need to have my LLC set up before the master class? No, you don't need it set up. You don't need a setup, but you can set it up. So it's, you don't have to. Like uh, plenty of my people join the masterclass, don't have nothing. But after the masterclass, we show you how to go through there and get all of that stuff. Someone said, "Can you do Amazon only at night?" No, I only do Amazon at night because it's less traffic. Um, my drivers hate driving in the daytime, and you burn less fuel. And Amazon pay more at nighttime. What's up, Hancho? One of my one of my day ones. What's up? How you doing, bro? After the September 23rd class, how long will we lease on with somebody else? Um, after the September 23rd class, you will be able to lease on as soon as you have your compliance stuff. Hey, everybody, y'all see little Gator workout? I guess he wants to come in and make little slick comments. Bro, move on somewhere, man. We rich over here. Go ahead. Go move on somewhere. Nobody want to hear that. Only broke people do stuff like that. We, we been did that. And lives like three, four months ago. We don't even pay attention to you over here. Y'all see Little Gator in there? Go check out his page. He's probably private, block, something weird. Get out of here, weirdo. Someone said, do 
you anyone hiring, I only got local experience. I'm not currently hiring at my um, company, but you can actually join my um, box truck shorty, box heads group. <clears throat> Someone said, I took the master class. Now I'm waiting on my authority to become active. Bert, I don't think I remember you, bro. Bert Kenny, how you doing? Someone said, what do you do after the LLC and EIN? After the EIN and the LLC, you need to be working on your authority. So it's a couple things that you need to get up and running to do Amazon. <clears throat> of course, y'all know I paid $200 for my LLC. I paid $680 for my authority. I paid $1,375 for my insurance uh, down payment. And I paid $1,000 for my um, um, rental deposit. So after your LLC, then you definitely need your... Um, your authority. Someone said, can I do Amazon Relay and OTR? Yes. So that's what I was telling you about. My last, my dispatching guide, you could do Amazon Relay. And it's the only guide that I know of that you could do Amazon Relay in conjunction with uh, OTR. What people call OTR over the road, using that low board, truck stop, one, two, three, anything. <clears throat> Someone said, he beat my homegirl out. Don't trust this guy. Come on, man. Look, Gator, you, 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 you ain't bought nothing from me. You don't even know who I am. So come on, cut it out. If y'all want to talk to him, talk to him. Like I said, I beat somebody at a, a girl. Come on, man. Get out of here. You a clown. Someone said, someone said, do you think you can make money on Amazon Relay with a cargo van? No, you can't even use a cargo van with Amazon Relay. The smallest that you can do is a 16-foot box truck. <clears throat> uh, I totally agree with you. He is just disrespectful. <laughs> Say, how's the North Florida location? With Florida, the only thing with Florida, I'm familiar with Fort Myers, Tampa, Jacksonville, and the Orlando area. I know those are good markets. And I know y'all hear the stories about... You can't make money in trucking with Florida. When you go to Florida, you can't get out of Florida. You can't leave Florida. What well, Amazon, like I said, Amazon is their own ecosystem. Amazon is not affected by OTR or over the road or that low boy. Amazon loads year round. Even when they are lower, like the peaks and valleys, what I'm telling you guys, is still better than the dat low board. I can just guarantee you. So when I use the dat low board, we only use the dat low board at certain times. So let's just say we book a load at three or four o'clock in the morning and it gets, let's just say it's in Charlotte. What we can do then is what we'll do is we'll, if that driver's there like seven, eight o'clock in the morning, then we'll look for a load coming back to Atlanta or close to Atlanta because we got to come back anyway. So other than that, the dat low board is what we use, like I would say just to get back. Sometimes it depends on what time we drop off that load, if that makes sense. Someone says, yes, it's always one that don't know how to ask for help. Yeah, it's always a broke person. It's always broke people. Always broke. <clears throat> he said, no, I didn't take the class, but my homie got robbed. Well, okay, well, let your homie be in the, in the uh, thing. Your homie couldn't get robbed because go check my reviews, man. Stop with the clown stuff. Stop with clowns. Broke boys always got something to say. I guarantee y'all go to his page. It's probably private or it's probably like a bot. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Someone says, I tried to DM on IG having a problem. Okay. Just booked my three-day Amazon train and I can't wait. I can't wait. I know you can't wait, Matthew. Someone say, is it a 10% lease on fee for each truck? Yes. So it's per truck, 10% of each load, each truck weekly um, for the uh, Amazon Relay lease on. Someone said, is it a 10? Yeah. All right. I answered that question. Can you only do Amazon at night? So I answered that already. <clears throat> That's what's up. I'm proud of you too, cuz. I'm proud of you too. Meet and greet was all knowledge. Yes, it was, man. The meet and greet, man. Cuz, I wish you could have been. I know you was out working, doing your thing, man. But the next meet and greet, I got to have you there, man. You were... You definitely got to come. I don't care where is that. You got to come. I'm going to have to give you, you know what I'm saying, enough time and enough notice. What company you refer or rent a truck from? Um, whichever one has the best rates. So it's no real, like I should say, 
best one, I mean, good one. Because let's just say, if you're getting a better deal with Enterprise, go with Enterprise. If you're getting a better deal with Ryder, go with Ryder. If you're getting a better deal with Budget, go with Budget. Budget. <clears throat> Alpha Bus said, no weirdos alive. Exactly, man. There's always, always somebody like, I don't care. Like, you got to think about it, man. They hate it on Jesus. There's no, this is, this is, this is my thing. One of my favorite movies is American Gangster. And American Gangster, when Denzel went to go talk to the Don, and he was like, man, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel this. And he was like, man, look, you can't be mad. Unsuccessful is taking a shot at you. Unsuccessful is going to always take a shot at successful. So with that being said, I'm used to it now. I don't, I mean, people hate. All day, every day, bro. That's cool. Nobody's going to like nobody 100%. If you go look at, I think the iPhone is the best phone in the world. But guess what? Some people hate the iPhone. I think a Benz is one of the best cars on the planet. Some people going to hate a Benz. Some people going to hate a Rose. There is nothing, no product, no service that 100% of the people going to like. That's just life. And guess what? 100% of the people ain't going to like me, but I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? As long as I don't steal from nobody, I don't scam nobody, that's, that's all I care about. Ain't I give somebody ten thousand dollars if you can find one person that I scam or took money from? You can't find that person because it don't exist. Now, if you say somebody might have took a class or purchased something and it wasn't successful, that's another story. Everybody that go to Harvard ain't gonna be successful. Everybody that go to Yale, everybody that start a business ain't gonna be successful. I preach this all the time. You have to have grind. Obviously, Gator is a clown, an idiot. So if he clown, clowns hang around clowns. So that's the thing. He's not going to be successful. You can't be successful when you're on here, instead of learning, he in here trying to clout chase. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, my name, my brand, good. Best reviews, most reviews, mentorships, go read them. Nobody had more reviews than me. So I don't, I don't worry about little, little Gator. You know, Gator was a crackhead in, in uh, Jungle Fever. See what I'm saying? So I don't worry about little crackheads. <coughs> <laughs> Someone said, see you later, alligator. Find you something to do. Exactly, man. Get out of here, clown. Clowns, man. Clowns. Broke clowns. If you're not learning and you're not on this page to learn, stay off it. And I guarantee you, if y'all go follow him, he probably following me. You see what I'm saying? There's always a heckler that's following me that's always trying to make things. But look, my money good. I'm rich. So do what you do. <laughs> So like I said, if y'all find somebody that got robbed by me on this live, I'll give you $10,000. Nobody can say I robbed them. Nobody. And that's how I stand on my name. Ain't nobody going to say that. So anyway, let's get back to business. Someone said, is it possible to do two lures per day with each driver? I wouldn't say with each driver. It depends on your area, your market. If you could do two loads, three loads, some places like... For example, I posted a guy, I think he was in Detroit somewhere area, and he was doing like short loads, um, like $250 to $300 for literally one or two miles. LA has those kind of loads, but not Atlanta. So it depends on your market how many loads you can do. But during peak season, yes, you can rack up and do those loads. Even in, a, excuse me, even in Atlanta, you can do them. It's just that I don't want to burn out my drivers, and I don't like to wake up in the middle of the night and book loads. So that's it. I ain't even got, I ain't even got a block him because... He going he gonna to create another page. He's a fan, and he's looking for attention. But he got the attention he was looking for tonight. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to have a couple of them. I, I be doing good, man, because in the beginning, I used to get it all the time. But now, it's like once every three or four lives. So it's, it's all good. <laughs> so I ain't worried about it. Say, hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, LaShawn. How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? I'm say this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I definitely got you, cuz. So if y'all don't know, go follow my cuz, man. His name is the box truck underscore guru. That's him in the comment. That's the guy. Like, if you see me and him did a live that made $200,000, still work a job, nine to five. Um, see, successful, successful. Another successful black man doing it without a job. He ain't on here. Hey, man, da, 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 da. When you making money, you too busy making money to be hating on anybody. I see a lot of stuff on the internet that I don't like, I don't agree with. But guess what? If you making money and I'm straight, I ain't got time to worry about what somebody else is doing. So that's how you know, especially when a man is in somebody else's inbox or, uh, or talking reckless. Men don't do that kind of stuff. Women don't do that kind of stuff. Nobody that's successful do that kind of stuff. Only unsuccessful, miserable people do that kind of stuff. And that's what I have to understand. I can't, I can't even get involved with 
you know, people that ain't got nothing to lose. He has nothing to lose. I got way too much to lose, man. I had a meet and greet where almost 80 people came out to see me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you look at my reviews, nobody ever says anything bad about me unless it's a hater. Like, see, he never even purchased nothing. See, once again, showing his face called clown. You ain't never even purchased, bought nothing but say, I robbed your friend. Well, you robbed my friend too. <laughs> Gator, he likes getting high. He's a crackhead. I know, I'm jungle fever. <laughs> Gator. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, Gator. We box head, Ron head, these parts. Go find somebody else to play with. Right, right, right. We chilling over here, man. Someone said, brother, can I get started with 7K and get everything? Yes, brother. I started with literally, and I've helped a lot of people. The only thing that's going to be different with this is basically your driving, um, your insurance. So your LLC is going to be whatever your LLC is in your your state, right? Then you got uh, your authority. Your authority is going to be 680, 650, whatever. You, like if you go through my person, it's 650, no matter where you go, right? So if no matter what state you're in, that's what it is. The only difference is if you're in New York, you have a New York permit. If you're in Cali, you have a CA number. But other than that, your authority is your authority. Now, your insurance down payment is based on your driving record. And if you go through a broker or if you go directly to the insurance company. If you go directly to the insurance company, they're going to probably knock your head off and be high. If you go through a broker, they have relationship with the insurance company, it's going to be a lot cheaper. So I always recommend going through a broker and then your rental deposit. Your rental deposit depends on how long you rent the truck. It could be a thousand. The max I've seen recently is about twenty five hundred. Depends on who you go to. But like I said, man, um, you definitely can stop under seven thousand. Someone says, "Nigga, you robbed me. I could have been learned this." I could have been learned this, and I'm just clear, I'm just clearing it. You should have this four years ago. So you robbed me for being late, but now a solid dude. I just salute you, King. <laughs> I feel you, man. I wish I knew about it four years ago, bro. Uh, if I knew about it four years ago, man, listen. I will. I promise you, I wish I knew because Amazon Relay has been around for a while. I just found out about it two and a half years ago. So I feel robbed myself. Someone said I have five trucks here in Atlanta. How many loads do you average a night? I only do one load a night. One load. Yeah, that's what's up. You got five trucks in Atlanta. That's dope. Someone said Jason should join if he can. Jason should join in if he can. Uh, Jason, somebody said you should join in if you can. Someone said, what's the average mileage to book loads going to the rental route? The average miles, let me see, the average miles to book the loads going the rental route. It just depends on your area. Like, I like to stay between 140 and 180. Um, some places up north, your farther you go up north is a little bit shorter. Because when y'all go 140, 108 miles, y'all like four or five states out. Someone said, bro, I'll be in the master class October 7th. I'm putting everything I learned into effect. And I'll be your most successful grocery student, 1,000%. I believe you, bro. Hey, we got a lot of people already leased on. Like, this is facts. Like, go, like I said, once again, go read my reviews. The grind, I can give you the information all day. But the grind, I want to see, I want to see somebody surpass me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see you guys do well. When you guys do well, guess what? I don't even have to get on here and tell y'all nothing because y'all, when y'all start making money, guess what y'all do? Y'all going to go tell people, hey, look, go to Amazon Relay, X, Y, and Z. And that's the best promotion is helping somebody. So I want to see my, my um, box heads be successful. That's why I came up with this slogan, man. I'll see you at the top. I want y'all to be at the top. It ain't no fun if only one person got a lot of money. I want everybody to have a lot of money. That's why even my friends and family, man, I turned this on to everybody. My, like, my, oh, I forgot to say Akeem. My, my best friend spoke at the meet and greet. How could I forget him? Um, he told his story. Like, he was in management for years. I got him out of the management, got him in. He's my first driver, drove my truck. Now he has his own truck and his own company making a lot of money. So my hat goes off to him. You know, I've, I've changed a lot of people's lives. I don't care what nobody say. You can say little cap, big cap, whatever cap. You know what I'm saying? I've changed a lot of people's lives. And I really do what I say I'm going to do. I post the most receipts. I give the most live reviews. I mean, lives. I give out the most information. And that's just it. But I'm not going to keep you guys on that long. I've been in almost an hour. Someone said, facts. That's real for doing this. Yeah, I do this, like I said, man, every week. I don't get, y'all ain't paying me no money to do this. You know what I'm saying? I come on here and answer your live. How many other big uh, social media influencers get on and do a live every week with you guys and answer questions for free? 
Ain't nobody giving me a dime on here. So with that being said, man, I'm here to help you guys. You ain't never got to buy from me. I've helped people. Like I run into a street like, man, I started my whole company. I ain't never even bought nothing from you. And that, that, that like, you know, moved me because if you got the time to go binge watch everything I say, then you can learn everything I say because I, I, I give it all out. However, if you need my time, then of course I charge for my time. But man, um, with that being said, I'm not going, I'm going to give y'all a couple more questions. I'm going to hop up off of here. Someone said, definitely changed my life. Changed my life. I got a CPA now. I know that's right. That's right, man. CPA, because you start making a lot of money, you don't want to be in no tax problem. Facts. Someone said, facts. No fun when you friends don't have no money. They start hating and asking for your money. Yep. Or they start coming on here saying little cap when they don't have no money. You know, little caps that when they don't have no money, that's when they hate. You know, love turned to hate. And I bet you if I go on my inbox, he probably did inbox me some questions and stuff like that. <laughs> but I ain't going to, I ain't going to, um, thing. So October 7th is my last master class. I got 10 slots left. Join the master class if you want to catch peak season. I have a two day training at Amazon facility. It's 350 for two days. If you don't want to drive, send your driver. I'll train them for you. I got a three day training. That's $400. And you go with the driver overnight with the train. Um, and if you want to send your driver, that's the most recommended one. Um, then I, like I said, I do 30, 60 minute consultations. I have an ebook ultimate bundle pack guide, which is on sale for one ninety nine. If you can't afford to get in a masterclass, I've helped thousands get on thousands of people, thousands. Um, and also I have, if you just want to buy the dispatching guide, your money tight, you just want to learn something. 49 bucks, get you the dispatching guide. You can literally get up and running doing dispatching. Um, people don't get the time to say people getting money. Don't have time to hate on other people. That's a fact. That's a big fact, man. You got you making money. You too busy making money to be hating on somebody. Someone said you and your team are my new mentors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Someone said Sonic, go to this. I'm sending you a drive. Legendary. Ask it all, champ. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Like I said, you guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope to see you guys at the top October 7th for all my box trucks people. That's in September 23rd class. I can't wait to class this uh, Saturday. It's going to be life-changing for you guys. Y'all going to really like it, enjoy it. Um, Y'all going to get the information. And I know y'all ready to hit peak season, man. Peak season is coming up soon. I'll see you guys at the top.